Hey guys, Cam here with another episode of Quiz Cam. Sorry it's a week late. Um, there's been lots of stuff going on at home and on the site with all the jailbreaking stuff. So sadly, and I'm really sorry, I just couldn't squeeze it in at all over the last couple of weeks. So um, this is episode 10 in the current series and I'm sad to say this is the last episode in this current series. I've decided that I'm going to switch um, my time and effort to making, doing some app comparisons because obviously apps are very popular and you want to know which is the best because there are so many of them out there so uh, I'm going to be doing that from now on but until then I will answer these questions and don't worry QuizCam will be back again in the summer um, probably around the time of an iPhone launch if it's in the summer maybe it'll be autumn, I don't know yet, we'll see what happens I'm not promising anything First question from Mrs. Kirk 2203 Random question, do you watch Eurovision? And if so, what's your favourite entry of all time? Sometimes I watch Eurovision, but because I'm British, um, we generally don't take it seriously at all, and you can tell that from the acts that we normally put into the competition. We don't go there to win. Um, it's quite clear. I watch Eurovision because it's funny, because it's so bad. Um, and I guess my favourite my favourite ever one that was so funny. There was a couple of years ago and I can't even remember the name of the band. There was a girl and a guy, it was like a, a British band they put together for Eurovision and they got absolutely nothing. They got zero. They ended up with no points whatsoever. And the reason for that was because they sang the whole thing out of tune. It was hilarious. I can't even remember what it was called. I'll have to find it, but it was good. Do you see the Apple TV coming out with Ultra HD, 4K, and skipping Full HD altogether? If they release a TV, it's going to be one that everybody wants and that anyone can buy. Um, so releasing a 4K TV at the moment isn't plausible because they cost an absolute fortune and no one can afford to buy them. Um, so if they're going to release it in the next couple of years, I can't see that they will release an Ultra HD television. But if they're going to be doing it in five, six, seven years time, then why not? They might even have invented some new resolution that they call Retina or something. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think about Microsoft recently? What I think about Microsoft is, um, you... I like some things they do and I don't like other things they do. For instance, Windows Phone I think is fantastic. I think Windows Phone 8 and the Lumia 920 Really, really great way to redesign a smartphone platform. And again, I think that works on tablets as well. But when it comes to PCs, I kind of think you've got to have one operating system for one device and another operating system for something that's completely different. You can't try and make it work on everything. And I guess the adoption rate of Windows 8 kind of proves that to some extent because hardly anyone's upgrading. And even people that are buying PCs with Windows 8 are paying so that they can downgrade it to Windows 7 and it just shows that once again they've kind of got that tablet PC thing completely wrong but they've got it the other way around instead of having a completely unthumbable operating system that's a computer operating system on a tablet what they've done this time is that they've taken a tablet and phone operating system and put it on a huge display that needs a little tiny cursor and it's just I don't understand why they think this way and why they think they can unify everything in one operating system, but I just don't think it works. Harry Potter or Twilight and why? See, asking that to me doesn't make much sense because it's kind of like asking me which of my eyes would I like to stab first with a rusty fork. I hate both equally. I can't stand them. Do you prefer white or black devices? It does depend a lot on the design. Um, with the iPad mini and the iPhone 5, I've gone for black because I think the black and the slate colouring looks a lot more classy than the white and the silver. Whereas with the iPhone 4 and the 4S and even the iPhone 3GS, I had a white iPhone every time. I didn't like the black one, so it does depend on the time. But at the moment, I've got black. Do you believe Apple will actually release the iPhone 5S or 6 in July like the rumour keeps saying? I don't know what I think, it's a rumour. It's You can make up your own mind what you think. I can make up my own mind. I could say, Apple is going to release the iPhone 5S tomorrow! And it would be just as right as somebody saying it was going to be released in July when it might not. Um, it's hard. I think rumours are that it's going into production in March and that would point us towards a June or July release. And I would like that, it would be nice, it would be really nice to see um, an, 
an 18 month recycle period between major updates because obviously the 5S is going to be a small update and what they did with the 4S I thought was ridiculous leaving us 14, 15 months and then rele releasing practically the same phone again. Um, so to shorten that cycle, I like that. Do you believe that without Steve Jobs, the final authority of quality control of Apple products has been lost? I feel Apple's quality has been dropped a bit. I don't really see how you can say that, really. That might be your opinion, and I'm going to give you mine. I think you're wrong. Um, I think that, in fact, it's just as good, if not better, as it, than it was before. I think, obviously, they dropped the ball with Maps. That was a huge mistake, releasing it that early, and it wasn't working properly. But you have to remember, when Steve Jobs was in charge, Mobile Me was an absolute disaster. He oversaw the company when they released Ping for iTunes, which nobody used. Steve Jobs was not perfect, and neither was Apple under Steve Jobs. And I think he's actually got a really good team in place now, whereby... He can, they can actually carry on doing what Apple does best. And if you read any of the, um, if you read any of the articles after the iPhone 5 was launched, you would have heard things from the manufacturers in China saying stuff like, the iPhone 5 is the most difficult phone we've ever had to make. And they really, really struggled to get the quality and the quantity right, which just shows Apple's, Apple's attention to detail in quality control and build quality and manufacturing quality is still there now if not more than it was before. What are your thoughts on the iWatch and will you buy one? I was born I was born in the 80s, I grew up in the early 90s, my parents liked watching Star Trek so um, I grew up watching sci-fi and I grew up watching all that kind of stuff where people had things on their arms and they could talk into them and see uh, see a video of their friend or whatever or their boss telling them stuff and I've always thought that was really cool. So with an iWatch, it's like, for me, it's like what I was dreaming of as a kid. It's having that wearable technology that's actually really useful on your wrist. It's practical and it's just awesome. And if Apple releases one, I'll probably be the first person in line to buy one because I can't, well, I really genuinely, I think the iWatch is the most exciting Apple product possibility that there has ever been. Anyway, that's been it from me. This has been the last episode of this series of Quiz Cam. If you want, uh, what I would like for you to do now is to suggest apps that I should pit against each other in like app battles. Epic app battles of history. And I won't call it that because I might get in trouble from the guys that do epic rap battles of history. But anyway, I'm going to do app comparison shootout battle thing. Uh, and I want you to tell me which apps I should put against each other. Agent Das versus Temple Run. Should I do Tweet Deck versus... I don't know, Twitterific. Um, just let me know. Give me your thoughts. Leave your suggestions in the comments. And thank you so much for all your questions over the last couple of months. I've really enjoyed reading them and answering them. And I'm hoping I can get some time to do it again soon. But for now, this has been Quiz Cam, and I've been Cam Bunton. And you can still follow me on Twitter and ask me anything you want on there. Uh, at TIP underscore Cam. Good ciao!